This is the Star News Brief. I'm Tina Mombunu. Anxiety has gripped the rank and file of the civil service over imminent changes as President William Ruto is expected to form a commission of inquiry to probe state capture. The president, who took charge on Tuesday, is expected to reorganize his administration and constitute a panel to investigate the extent of state capture and conflict of interest in the country. This essentially means that President Uhuru Kenyatta and his allies could find themselves in trouble if indicted by the commission that should be formed by the middle of next month. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. Governors and other elected leaders embroiled in graft will no longer be embarrassed and harassed by detectives under the Kenya Kwanzaa administration, the DP has said. Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa said on Thursday the county chiefs will henceforth be handled decently by the anti-corruption officials pursuing them for interrogation. Gashagwa said they have told DCI officers to retreat to their Kiambu Road headquarters and wait for crimes to be reported there. Azimio leader Raila Odinga will on Friday chair the coalition's parliamentary group meeting, even as he is expected to lay down the roadmap of his next cause of action following a disputed presidential election. The meeting will also discuss the sharing of parliamentary leadership positions amongst the Azimio constituent parties. Raila will be joined by his running mate Martha Karua and Raipa leader Kalonzo Musioka at the meeting scheduled at Stony Athi in Machakos County. The jostling for key leadership positions in the bicameral parliament within the Kenya Kwanzaa camp is set to climax this weekend. The coalition's team, led by President William Ruto, will retreat on Friday afternoon to decide on who leads the troops in the National Assembly and Senate. The two-day meeting in Naivasha will also see the MPs agree on individuals to take up the positions as commissioners in the Parliamentary Service Commission. Children treated for HIV with a drug called Navy Rapin have delayed brain function compared to those who received other drugs, a new assessment shows. Kenya discounted Navy Rapin in children in 2019 and put them on a new drug therapy. The drug is still available in antiretroviral therapy clinics but is prescribed in extremely rare cases sanctioned at the highest levels of the National AIDS and STIs control program. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.